welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy Bernice. I make videos about how to make money online. And in this video, we're going to be talking about leads or fantastic leads and where to find them. I just cannibalized the whole Harry Potter title, but I think that it fits really good. So if you're wondering in the past two months, where was I? I was really just sitting on my office thinking about what are the types of content that I'm going to publish on my YouTube channel because I really want this to be a quality channel, right? Rather than just like publishing a video every single week and just for the sake of being able to publish. So let's talk about leads. What are leads? So according to Alex, Hermosi leads are the people that you can come in contact with, that you can repeatedly contact. And prior to reading that book, I was already thinking like, leads are probably the people that are interested in buying your product, but then that would actually be engaged or qualified lead. And there are also leads that are not like that, which we will be talking about in a minute. When we talk about the people that we can come in contact with, it's probably because we have showed them something about our brand and then they become more interested. It piques their curiosity. We give them something in exchange so that we can collect their email, contact number, basically any other way to contact them. That's leads for you. Leads are actually divided into two types. We have the passive lead and the engaged lead or what I'd like to call income leads, right? It's income because it makes you money. So when we talk about passive leads, these are leads that I don't really want to have in my list. Uh, to be honest, I do everything in my power just so I do not get passive leads. And I am very proud of myself for actually being able to do that because story time, a few years ago when we were starting in this whole info business thing, so if you do not know yet, I actually have six courses right now. I'm on the way to make my seventh and my eighth course. So we had a lot of people in the email list up until 100,000 people. 100,000 people on my email list and we were paying $400 every single month just to keep that very list alive. And when it was time to actually purge those people, we found out that the active leads were only 20,000 and we are supposedly going to be purging 80,000 people in that list. So imagine every single month we were paying $400, but like 80% of those were actually passive leads. And so I feel very strongly about making sure that you pre-qualify your leads, most especially if you're putting them in an email list. So for newbies out there, what is an email list? It is actually a list of people that you can contact via email. I had to purge my list in 80% and it was so disappointing. And all of that was because I run ads and we were spending $1,000 dollars per day and it was really not cool because we just kept on attracting people that are not really going to be buyers. At this time, I learned my lesson and right now I am at 23,000 people in my subscribers list and I can say that 80% of them are active or engaged leads. So before I had 80% of like passive, now I have 80% of active and engaged leads. So Congratulations to myself for being able to do that. But how do we know if they are passive or engaged leads? Simple, if they haven't been in contact with you for the next 30, 60, 90 days, that to me is already a passive lead. And at the same time, if they don't open any of your emails, which at this moment, if you have an email list and you are still looking at the open rates because of iOS 14, that is not accurate anymore. So imagine even like when you have your Gmail app on your phone, literally all I need to do to just mark as read the email that I have received, I just swipe left. So I swipe left, it marks the email as read and automatically that registers also into the person who sent that very email and it counts as an opened email. So that is really not how we want things to go <laughs> because you are supposed to count an opened email as opened if this person actually read it but did not reply. So the most accurate way of translating email reports now is via clicks. So if you put a link, an image or a button in your email and they click on it, that means that they are an active 
lead, right? So there's that. Another thing to know if your lead is actually passive is if they're like, oh, you're offering this? Cool. They just say that to your face, but you know, they don't really care. <laughs> okay, so these leads are really notorious. They just take you for what you are worth. Sometimes they don't pay. They literally do not care. And most of that is because they are not aware that you are actually paying for every single name that is in your email list. So that is something that you need to remember people that if you do not want to be in somebody else's list, they're actually paying for your name. And so it's actually best for you to unsubscribe if you do not care about their emails at all. Okay. And most importantly, if you're receiving my emails and you don't care about them, I would love for you to unsubscribe. <laughs> Truth be told. When I also give away free stuff like swipe files, free training, attend a webinar, so on and so forth, I actually tell people right after they opt in or right after they write their email and they click send, that's opt-in, they receive an email wherein I'm just very blunt and straightforward and I say something like, hey, I'm going to be selling you stuff. I'm going to give you value and I would love if you open your email every single time I do that or you respond to the email that I'm giving you because I'm actually paying for your name. Okay, so every single name that is in my email list, I actually pay for them. And if you got this free stuff and you want it, no worries at all. You can take it away with you. Just don't sell them, duplicate them, white label them. Completely fine with that. But if you don't really care about my stuff at all, I would love for you to unsubscribe. And it's crazy to think that every time I say that, my unsubscribe rates are very low. <laughs> so I'm just being frank with the people who are subscribing to my free stuff. So I give away lead magnet training whatsoever and be like, yo, if you want this, cool. But if you don't really care about the things that I'm going to say after this, then might as well unsubscribe. But like, I only have 1% unsubscribe in the email where I say exactly that. So <laughs> there are plenty of things that you can do to pre-qualify your leads. So instead of just accumulating a lot of passive leads, you can have engaged leads or income leads. And how do I do that exactly? Well, when I give away free stuff, I don't run ads to it. This is because of my experience wherein we are running thousand dollar per day ads right just to get leads and then it rose up and then you know what happened so now i don't really pay money to run ads to get leads okay what i do is when i want to give away free stuff and i want to increase my lead number i just create a swipe file i make it really really good not the dumb shit that you are getting from these people that are telling you to DM for whatsoever. And I'm going to give you free stuff. So usually those people are like just, you know, slapping something of a sort of the content, put that on Google Docs, export that on PDF and send it your way. Like my way of doing it when I create lead magnet. Lead magnet, by the way, is the swipe file, the PDF or the webinars, however you want to do it and you give away that stuff for free in exchange for contact details. So when I create my lead magnet, I don't really just slap things over and that's it. I'm actually ranting because I have received something like that before from someone that I look up to. When I do that, I don't run ads to that anymore. What I just do is I just post on my social media accounts and I tell them that if you want a copy of this, then you comment this and then you go to this page you're going to get it. And every single time I do it, I get 300 people in the next two days. So 150 people per day just for one post. And then I post again, and then I get another, another 150. And the percentage of my students that get the free stuff are actually very low. Like only 10% of them are my students. And I'm already keeping an eye on them. <laughs> like every time my notification uh, turns up and I know that it's from my student. I actually count that and later on I come up with the number and that's like 10% of 150 That's like 15 people 
are just my students. And so a lot of them are actually real qualified leads because imagine the trouble that you need to go through just to read through an entire value post and go to the comment section and comment your whatever. And then you're going to go to an opt-in, type your email address, click submit. Like that is a lot of trouble just to be able to to be able to get something for free. And it's the same thing worse on Instagram. Like you cannot even, it's very hard for you to post something and get something on Instagram right from the post. Like you really need to say LinkedIn bio and then the person goes to your profile and goes to the bio and then clicks this. Like there are a lot of hurdles that they need to go to just to be able to get that free stuff. And I think that that is already pre-qualifying your engaged lead. So those are the things that I do apart from the email of course that you have heard about earlier where and I really encourage them to unsubscribe like unsubscribe right now if you don't want to hear anything from me and then of course when a lead is engaged in the first couple days and then later on you don't really hear from them in 30 60 90 days I actually re-email them and say hey are you still alive <laughs> are you still here are you still interested with the stuff that I'm going to give you etc cetera, etc cetera. and if they do not reply within five days automatically I delete them in my list I do purging every single month and that is because again we're paying for every single name and at the same time I don't want to keep on bothering people. Just unsubscribe. I'm completely okay with that. And then you can continue being a follower on Instagram and on Facebook, wherein following and actually liking things are free. Like the interaction there is free. And so, you know, like you can continue being there. Just don't be in my list. <laughs> Okay, but it's also very dangerous for people who are just relying on social media and not actually having an email list. And I see this in a lot of my students because they rely so much on the power of social media that they're not scared that one day, you know, Thanos is going to snap his finger and like everyone and everything is going to disappear. And that is something that I don't want to happen to my students also. And so I keep on telling them, start building your email list, your client base through having an email service provider. Like there are a lot of them that offers a freemium plan wherein you can get 45 people in for free. Like you don't really need a lot <laughs> to secure those emails, put them together, or the most simplest DIY thing that you can do is copy and paste those email addresses and contacts and phone numbers in an Excel sheet or a Google sheet. Like you just put them there, keep them safe <laughs> so that one day when something happens, you know, you can always contact them. And I remember remember there was a prospect client that contacted me and she has like almost 1 million followers on Facebook and she's still doing her jewelry business on Facebook and I told her specifically like hey this is very risky like she has two Facebook pages just so she can continue her jewelry business and that to me is like you wouldn't really know when your Facebook page is going to get shut down. You don't know all these things, what's going to happen on Facebook in the next coming years, whatsoever. So having all her clients there and no way to contact them, but via Facebook Messenger was very risky to me. But we weren't able to close the deal, so I wasn't able to help her. But mind you, if you're doing that too, you're relying on your social media to just get clients, get them into an email freaking list please <laughs> just make sure that everything is going to be safe you're not throwing your efforts away so another thing that i'd like to discuss with regards to the uh, relying on your social media account for clients uh, i've also noticed this with a lot of my students what they do is that they get people into their personal facebook account and add them as a friend that's actually this the exact way of me telling my students on how to get clients as a freelancer, which to me is completely okay. Now, what I'm having problem with is the fact that you keep on promoting your service, your product or whatsoever on your personal Facebook account, but you don't add new friends. So that is a little bit of a problem because I see 
people, you know, promoting their online courses on their personal Facebook account, which by the way, you only get to touch 12% of those people. When you post something, you get 12% of your total number of friends that can actually see that very post, right? 12%. Now, if you don't add new friends, which you will be able to consider as new lead, you're not going to have customers later in the long run because you have milked, you have exhausted your current list already with your personal account that, well, they already know what you have or what you're going to offer, okay? So if you decide that you want to build an audience via social media, make sure you have new followers, new people coming in because if you don't do this, you're milking, you're actually exhausting the current list that you have, okay? <laughs> Just putting it out there as a reminder. Alrighty, so those are how I deal with leads in my experience. If you have any questions or clarifications, most especially because I talk very fast, you know, the thoughts are already in my head. I just try to like speak spit it out as it comes. And so if there is anything that is confusing in this video, let me know in the comments and I'll try my very best to explain it to you via text or I will record a next video if it's like too complicated. Right? So there you have it people, fantastic leads and where to find them. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.